What's going on guys? My name is Kevin Griffith and this is the Holler Barbecue. Today we're going to be taking some chicken breasts and stuffing them with jalapeno poppers and wrapping them in bacon. Except for the jalapeno poppers have a twist. So sit right there and let's get to cooking. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, stuffed chicken breast. Now a lot of people do just regular jalapeno poppers where they stuff them in the chicken breast. That's what I wanted to do, but I want to do it a little bit different than, than your normal one. So what I did was I did a video about this time last year for some football food. It's a jalapeno corn dip. I want to take that, the base of that recipe, we're going to stuff it inside the jalapeno. So let me show you what we got here. So this is our corn dip mixture. And all I did here was, it's about eight ounces of cream cheese. I got it all softened up. Then I added one cup of whatever your favorite mozzarella is. I suggest go with a, a higher quality one. Then just a, a little bit of salt, just to your liking. And then some basil. I think the original recipe calls for about a quarter cup of basil for the entire recipe. I just did by color. Um, you can see the little speckles in there. I just did it till I thought there was enough in there. And then about three cups of corn, which is basically about a bag of frozen corn. If you want to use frozen corn, you could use fresh corn or canned corn. I like using this the best, it's most convenient. All right, from here, let's just go ahead and stuff our peppers. Try to get as much as you can in there. It's kind of hard to get it all the way down the bottom, but I just keep pushing it until I feel it's in there. You can actually feel the pepper fattening it up a little bit. And then to get our chicken breast ready, I actually tried a few different ways, but these peppers are a little bit too big, so what I found we have to do is go ahead and basically butterfly the chicken out. We're just gonna make a slit right through the middle and then just keep using the knife to open it up. So just enough room to go ahead and get that pepper in and then you should be able to close it in and just kind of mash it around. Now I had planned on doing two slices of bacon, but with the peppers being so big and, and actually these breasts are a little bit big too, we ended up having to do three slices. And if you can see, I'm kind of stretching the bacon around. That's what's going to hold it in really good. And that's why I needed three because I want it to go completely around the, the breast so that we got a pretty tight seal on there. Now one of these breasts I'm leaving without the jalapeno in there. My little girl doesn't like hot food, so I'm not even gonna attempt it with her. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it with bacon. And these extra poppers, we're gonna go ahead and wrap those too. And you see I didn't put any seasoning on the chicken. Um, I actually wanna put it on the bacon itself. You could put it on the chicken if you want to, but I'm just gonna do it on the, on the, on the bacon. Um, all the other stuff has pretty good seasoning, so Let's just go ahead and get some seasoning on there, on the outside of the bacon. So what I'm going to be using is some of this shed seasoning. This is called Cluckin' Awesome. This is for their, this is their chicken rub. Now the shed is a barbecue joint down in uh, Mississippi, if you have never heard of them. It's got a lot of brown sugar in it. And I really like brown sugar on bacon in the smoker. Every time I cook with bacon... In the smoker, I've got some type of rub that has brown sugar in it. I 
right, they're all seasoned up, ready to go. Look pretty good, huh? And also, I had leftover dip. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in a cast iron skillet, and I'm going to throw it in the smoker and just have it going in there with the rest of them. That way I can have some of the dip later. All right, I got the silverback fired up to 275 degrees. We're just going to start laying these in very gently just so that we don't um, unravel our bacon. As far as pellets go, I'm using some heavy smoking pellets this time. This is lumberjack. We're using hickory, pecan, and mesquite. Three very heavy smoke flavors. Um, that way we can try to get as much smoke flavor as possible. So we will be cooking by temp and not time. These things need to go to 160 degrees before they're done. But about the 30 minute mark, we will be flipping them over so that our bacon can kind of cook on the bottom side. Alright guys, so we've been going about 30 minutes now and I just want to carefully flip these things over. Mainly to get this other side of the bacon starting to crisp up. All right, guys, I'm gonna give it a temp real quick. This is the one without the jalapeno. So it's about, was about, a, was about 150 degrees. This one's sitting at, let's see, 147, 48, 49. So so we're about 150 degrees on these. So what I want to do is I'm going to flip these back over. And then we're going to go ahead and crank the silver back up to 400 for the last 10 degrees. All right, guys, these last 10 degrees, be sure to stay with it. Let me... So the one without the jalapeno poppers, this at 164-ish. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. I don't want it to cook anymore. Our smaller one's also done. I'm gonna go ahead and get it off. Looks pretty good, huh? And our big one. about 157 so not much further on that one I'm gonna take these jalapeno poppers off though all right guys so it didn't take very long for the bigger one to come up to temp it was maybe five minutes behind the other ones Total cook time here was about an hour and a half. So it's not a very long cook and it's actually pretty simple. Um, it's been resting for about five minutes after I turned the grill off. The grill has a five, five minute cool down period. We just finished, so we're about five minutes into it. So let's cut this big one open and see if we were able to hold in all that cheese and uh, the, the filling inside that jalapeno popper. So let's just go ahead and cut it open.
Oh yeah, it's still all in there. Super juicy too. That's why if you just cook the thyme, go to the temperatures that you know it's meant to go to, you're gonna have nice juicy chicken every time. Let's see if I can get Let me see if I can cut off a nice little sliver here. It's still pretty warm. Let me see if I, let me do a taste test real quick. Got all that cheese coming down. Mm, mm, mm. That is excellent. Super good. All right, guys, that's it for our stuffed chicken breast jalapeno poppers. If you like it, go ahead and put a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you can, give me that, hit that like button for me. And as always, if you've got any questions or comments, go ahead and put them below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And always, holler back.